Hello, Lucha families. I wanted to once again record our Lucha Ledger for you so that you are updated on everything going on at Lucha. So this is our Lucha Ledger for the week of January 26. Again, we send this out every Wednesday. Um, so make sure when you get it in your email, click on the link. So you can preview it in your email inbox, but it'll come out more clear and crisp if you click on the link directly. And then at the top right hand, if you're clicking on a computer, you should see this accessibility piece. And this is where you will select the translation. Um, some people were telling me it wasn't coming up. I know it will look a little bit different. So on your phone as well, that feature will come up as an accessibility tab. So if you can see my phone here, when I click on it, you're going to look for that little person in the black circle um, and click on that. And that's how you translate. So if anyone's having trouble with that or it's not showing up, I know uh, it appears differently now that I've updated the format. So please let us know because we want to make sure you're getting it translated into your home language. So tonight is our family night. We're so excited to um, come together once again in our monthly family nights on Zoom. So 6 p.m. tonight on Zoom, we will be coming together and reading Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon. And this book has a special activity inside of it, which is creating our very own Patchwork Dragon. And so we'll be talking more about this tonight, but we're also encouraging all of our students to make their own dragon and bring that dragon to school to turn in tomorrow. So on Seesaw, I sent a school-wide message. So I'm going to show you how you can access school-wide messages. When you log into Seesaw, you'll look at the inbox. Under the inbox, you will see school announcements. And this is where I send our weekly Kimochi's focus information to students. But yesterday I sent out the information about family night. So it has the Zoom login that you can join us for tonight at 6 p.m. And then it has the presentation that we're gonna be using. So you can open that up and take a look at all of the information that we're going to share tonight. And on page five of this, there are lots of different directions for how to make your own dragon. And so we are encouraging families to work together with their students to create their dragon and turn it in tomorrow. Any student that turns in their dragon will get a red envelope and the red envelope will have a free dress pass. And so the students who receive this will get a free dress pass for Friday, January 28th. So again, if they participate in our Zoom meeting and make their dragons and turn it in, they can come to school in free dress on Friday. So again, that's our January family night. Oops, I'm sharing this on the wrong screen. And we hope to see you all there. So please join us tonight at 6 p.m. on Zoom. Also on Zoom is, oops, let me make sure I'm sharing from the correct screen. I'm going to close these all down and make sure you can see the correct screen share. All right. Also on Zoom on Friday is our core value assembly. So every last Friday of the month, we come together, recognize our Lucha leaders of the month. And this month we'll be selecting our Lucha leaders who have demonstrated confidence. And so you're all welcome to tune in with us on Friday at 8.15 a.m. This week um, and last week, our teachers have been busy conferencing with families. So we hope that you had a great conference with your child's teacher. And by now you all should have received your child's report card. So check your child's homework folder, check their backpack, make sure that you receive that. If you need an additional copy, reach out to us and we can print one for you. But everybody at this point should have it. And we are now into our second semester. So plugging along and making great strides. 
Another week, another updated decision tree. So I have inputted the new decision tree in here. Again, the big idea for all parents to know is as these COVID exposures get sent home to you, which will be happening on Parent Square. So it's super important that you're checking your Parent Square every day. Um, get set it up so it gives you push notifications or connects to your email so that you can get those messages. Um, if your child is a close contact, they do need to take a COVID test after five days. And so those results need to be sent to myself or Mrs. Musquez so that they're cleared to return. The new rules have changed for after school programs. So it used to be that students would need to quarantine during that incubation period, but that if they weren't vaccinated, but that's no longer the case. So now as long as students are symptom free, they can keep coming to school, keep going to YMCA once they're a close contact, they still need to have that five day test at the end and they need to be part of our pool testing. Um, so we do wanna encourage all students to be part of our pool testing, but if your child's in YMCA especially, they need to be enrolled in our concentric testing program. So I think we're at 90% now. We got some more um, waivers in this week. And so now we just are missing 10% of our school population to get signed up for that weekly testing. So reach out to us and let us know and we can get you signed up for that testing, which happens every Wednesday. Although we are offering at-home tests right now to help you clear your students to return to school, this isn't gonna be forever, right? We, we, we do have a limited supply, so we really encourage you to stock up yourselves and get your own COVID test to have on hand to continue to test your child. So if you haven't already, uh, visit covidtest.gov and you can order free for free at-home tests. And now you can also through the county schedule a pickup of at-home tests as well. So um, you can go through the county website, sccfreetest.org and sign up to pick up at one of these four distribution uh, spaces. So again, encourage you to, to stock up on those tests because we know that they're gonna be needed over the coming weeks. Masking is another super important piece to all of this. And we really encourage you to level up. So I know that I have moved from the cloth mask to the KN94 or KF94s or N95s um, for that extra level of protection. If your child's still only wearing a cloth mask, we recommend doubling up. So you can get a surgical mask and then a cloth mask on top. That's gonna offer greater protection. The federal government's also gonna be offering free N95 masks to the general public. So this should be rolling out over the course of the next couple of weeks. I know that Walgreens and CVS are gonna be offering them and you can go in and get three free masks per person. So um, take a look for that. I know I order mine on Amazon. So if you wanna look as well to get yourself stocked up for those stronger protective masks, it's a great idea to add that protection for your child. Again, we know that COVID is tough. Uh, it means that some families are needing to take time off of work. And so there are resources available. So please connect with our school link service supervisor, Paloma Contreras, if you need some additional support um, and can get services through the county. There's some flyers here, a link to the website. Um, but if you need help navigating the system, reach out to us and we can connect you to Paloma, who is a wonderful recess resource for our Lucha families. As we finish out the month of January, we're focused on the Kamochi's feeling of proud. And this is really important. As you've had your conferences with the teachers, we hope that you're sharing with your Lucha leader how proud you are of their growth and helping your students to feel that pride in what they've accomplished so far. One of the key learnings this week is to make sure that we're not bragging, right? So we're trying to teach our students to be humble and also know that they can be proud of themselves and proud of others at the same time. So we hope that you will watch this video with your child, discuss this week's Kamochi's feeling and continue to share your pride in your child's accomplishments. 
Next week, we have a fun holiday coming up. It will be 2 2 22. So, in celebration of this Tuesday, um, which actually falls on a Wednesday, it would be super cool if it fell on a Tuesday, but 2 22 22 is a Tuesday, um, but we'll be off on break that week. So, we're going to celebrate this week and we are giving a special spirit week to our students. So, they can choose from one of these three options. They can come to school wearing tutus or ties. They can wear something to celebrate the 100th day of school because it is also the 100th day of school on 2 two twenty two. So um, decorating a special shirt with something of 100 depicted on it is something they can wear. Or they can choose a friend and dress as their twin for the day. So choose any of these three options. Or if they don't want to participate in the spirit week, then they can just come to school in uniform that day. Our kindergarten and TK registration for next year is open. So bring us those new generation of Lucha leaders. If you have younger children that are ready to join, to share this information with your neighbors and your friends and family so that we can recruit our next batch of Lucha leaders. YMCA contact information is here. We're pretty much full in YMCA now, but if you ever have any questions about our YMCA program, please reach out to Ms. Denary. Um, her phone number and email are in here, and it's up to you to directly contact her. This is also the number you can use if you're here to pick up your child and um, need to have them brought out to the driveway. And then finally, we have some calendars in here. So finishing out this month, showing you what's going on for the month of January preparing for next month. Remember that we have a week off in February. So February 21st to the 25th, there won't be school. We also will be doing LPAC testing for our third through fifth grade students starting next month so that they can begin to prepare for reclassification. And just put the whole calendar in here for you so that you have access to that. Know the last day of school and our spring break dates as well. Thank you so much, everybody, for your continued support at Lucha. And if you have any questions, of course, you know how to find us. Reach out to us, 408-928-8300. Have a great week, and we'll see you at our family night tonight. Bye.